just last night the third unit at LOS got the tallest it's going to be. And so after two and a half months and about 6,000 cubic yards of concrete, this stack reaches two football fields into the sky. In North Dakota, structures don't get much taller. At 580 feet, this stack is more than two times taller than the state capitol building, 25 feet taller than the Washington Monument. It would take about 35 or so people to circle the stack with arms outstretched. It is a lot more prominent. What makes this chimney so special is not its size, but its purpose. This is the stack that will be used once the wet limestone scrubber is running. The scrubber will remove sulfur dioxide from the plant's emissions. This chimney will handle flue gas from both units. Chimney work started May 1st. After two weeks, it was nearly 70 feet tall, and the way workers poured concrete changed. Yeah, they started out using a crane from uh, the outside, but now they're to a height where they have to uh, hoist from the inside because it's too, too uh, high up in the air for a crane lift. Here's the chimney in June. It's almost 300 feet tall. Work continues 24 hours a day. The action happens behind those black tarps. Underneath is what's known as a slip form. It's constantly moving uh, as concrete is added. This, the form is slipped upwards. Depending on the con how the concrete sets up is, determines how fast they can move that slip form up. The concrete is mixed on site. It's dumped into a bucket and hoisted up through the center of the chimney. Then it's poured into buggies that carry the concrete to the slip form. During the slip form process, they have what they call an exclusion zone, and no work uh, on the ground can go on within that exclusion zone uh, because of the risk of debris falling uh, from the top of the chimney. The exclusion zone limits work around the chimney's base. The stack hit full height July 23rd. Once the slip form is taken apart, steelwork and construction of the absorber tanks starts. Platform steel, electrical wiring, emissions monitoring equipment, and lighting go inside the chimney. The most important thing, of course, are the uh, fiberglass liners that will have to be installed, and, and uh, that'll take place, like I said, over the next 9 to 12 months. There will be a liner for each unit. Plans are to install those starting in February. The flues will extend 20 feet from the top, bringing this stack's total height to 600 feet. At the Leland Old Station for Basin Electric, I'm Tracy Bettenhausen.